The art of Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec is instantly recognised and loved the world over. And the artist is considered one of the great portrait painters of his era. Known for his risque depictions of raunchy Paris nightlife, Toulouse-Lautrec indulged in the life shown in his art, but the flamboyant painter's story is also tinged with sadness. Rebecca Bailey reports. He's the wild child of modern art, who turned popular culture in the late 19th century into priceless art. Now the largest retrospective of Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec ever seen in Australia is bumping in at the National Gallery in Canberra. You could compare Lautrec in some ways to someone like Andy Warhol who stunned the world when he started painting soup cans. Lautrec stunned the world by showing the underbelly of Paris. Toulouse-Lautrec's extraordinary life story is almost as famous as his art. Born in the south of France in 1864, he was an aristocrat with money, influence and status but the painter also suffered from a congenital bone disease, which meant he was 1.5 metres tall, or less than five feet. Well, he was a bit of an outsider. He had problems physically. His parents were first cousins and had come from a long line of probably too many first cousins marrying. He was known as the Dwarf of Montmartre because his fragile bones, which he inherited, um, he broke both his thigh bones in early teens and his legs never grew. When the talented Toulouse-Lautrec went to Paris to study art, the Eiffel Tower wasn't yet built and the city's cafe and cabaret culture was just emerging. He moves to Montmartre and he just finds this as like a wonderland. It's, he feels right at home and he depicts the uh, characters that he sees, the real life characters, um, from popular culture. And that's what makes Lautrec quite different from some of his other uh, contemporaries. Toulouse-Lautrec became enamoured with the seedy nightlife of Paris and often painted and hung out in the famous Moulin Rouge. He lived in brothels and not only painted the women he befriended there, but frequented them as their client. He lived the life, um, he indulged the life, and so when he...